Newsletters March 27, 2023 The leader of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, wanted to make changes to the country's judicial system, but the President of the United States, Joe Biden, warned him that these changes could be bad for Israel's democracy. Netanyahu thinks that the Supreme Court in Israel has too much power, and that his changes would make it more accountable to the people. However, many people in Israel and other countries are protesting against his plans. Netanyahu disagreed with U.S. President Joe Biden. He said, I thought it was horrible. I think it's a big mistake. It's wrong from every point of view. And I don't care where it comes from or from whom. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that President Biden warned him not to mess with democracy in his country after his decision to reform the judiciary. A group of people called the Manhattan Grand Jury finished their work on Monday afternoon without making a decision in the case involving former President Trump. The governor of California, Gavin Newsom, is not speaking publicly about a proposal to provide hundreds of billions of dollars in reparations to black residents in the state. John Kerry, who is the U.S. climate envoy, spoke up for leaders who fly in gas-guzzling private jets. He also supports policies that encourage using more environmentally friendly energy sources. The White House Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre announced on Monday that President Biden has urged Congress to take action and address the issue of gun violence after a deadly shooting occurred in Tennessee.